So, coronavirus. No, I don't have it. My family doesn't have it. But the effects of it, because of the quarantines, because of the uh, massive layoffs, because of the economy, because of all everything, I have now been furloughed. My two daughters don't have their jobs. And none of my kids are able to attend school. They all go to college, but all of their college courses are either done online or just simply done away with. My wife, who is a nurse, is the only one who has a job. So now, not only does she have the stress of being a nurse, but she also has the stress of being the sole wage earner. Sure, I can get unemployment. And I apply for that. Sure, I can go get a job, minimum wage, working at a grocery store. I've already applied. But... All of this pales in comparison to what I fear most out of all of this. And yes, I said fear because this is a legitimate fear. Do you see how easy this was? No, I'm not saying that the virus is fake. No, I'm not saying... That this is some grand conspiracy. I am saying that within a matter of weeks, days actually, we went from a thriving, booming economy to now everyone is cowering in their houses. Everyone is panic buying. Everyone is not just being told to go to their house and saying, okay, but like, yeah, that's a great idea. Let's go. Um, this is why this scares me because... <clears throat> If it's that easy to get everybody to self-quarantine, people, this is how we get our liberties stripped away from us. This is what happens. I'm not trying to be an alarmist, and I'm not even saying that that's what's happening this time. I'm saying... That the wrong people see this. The wrong people are standing up and noticing how easy it is to get the American people to shut up and go to their houses and stay there and believe that it's the right thing to do. Guys, this is an awkward time in our history. We are literally writing history books. How do you want our history to show for future generations? Do you want us, the American people, to be history? Or do you want the American people to be the type of history that stands up and says, you know what? We got this beat. And we will come back bigger and stronger. And this kind of stuff will never happen again. I know I want to be part B. I don't want to be part A. But it doesn't take just one person saying this. It has to take an entire multitude of our nation standing up and saying, wait a minute, 
it ain't going to be that easy to push me into my house. It ain't going to be that easy to make me shut up and cower. It's not that easy. Now, yeah, if this disease is as bad as everybody says it is, then we should take precautionary measures, absolutely. But I don't want it to seem like it's really that easy to make everyone bow. On that note, God bless y'all. I hope that anyone who sees this is not affected by the coronavirus, but instead is living a happy life. <laughs>